Hi, in this video I'm going to make a small insulated garden house from start to finish. The first thing to do is to attach some boards under the floor beams. This will hold the wood fiber sheeting in place, which you can see later in the video. There was a slight bow in the beam, so I tried to straighten out that before I continue. Now that the board is in place, I put the beam on some supports. Then I make another one and I put that on some supports as well. And now it's time to make the floor joists. I use a circle of salt to cut this. I just stack them on top of each other and this will transfer the line to the next floor joist, as you can see here. I don't like to work on the floor, so I just put everything on some saw horses. To minimize the risk of cracking, I like to pre-drill at the end of the beams. There was a severe twist in the floor joist here, so I like to use screws just to make sure everything is tight. Here I have to force the joist in place to get out the twist. And of course I forgot to add the boards under it, so I had to take it off again. And now I do the same on the rest of the floor joist and just space them out evenly. I'm using a uh, center to center of 60 centimeters. I use a combination of screws and nails just to pull everything together. Now it's time to square everything up, so I measure from corner to corner to find the diagonals. To adjust it, I just tap it with a hammer. Then I do the same thing on the other side. These measurements are going to be exactly the same. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, here I'm just adding some pressure treated boards that will work as a bottom frame on everything. And I actually find it easier to add these after I made the floor. This is because everything is nice and square. I can also find adjust the distance between the floor joists by doing it this way. Here I'm just adding a barrier between the wood to make sure moisture is not creeping up in the construction. Thank you. 
Here I'm using a cold line to check if everything is straight. I had to do a small adjustment, which is very easy as you can see here. Now the final step before sheeting is to add in some blocks or supports between the floor joists. These are the wood fiber boards I use as sheeting. I use this in the floor and in the walls and in the roof. These are used as a wind barrier on almost every building or at least wooden buildings in Norway. It's very important that this is windproof, so I just push down as hard as I can before I nail them in place. This has to be very tight, so it takes a lot of time. Here is a possible air leak, so I'd like to seal this up with some sealant. The final step before adding insulation is to make everything nice and clean. And it's finally time to add the floor sheeting. Here I'm just using a cork line to make sure everything is straight when I'm laying out the floor sheeting. I'm using glue and screws to attach the sheeting.
to make everything as tight as possible, I use some wooden wedges and wedge everything in place. And now it's time to make the walls. I'm using a template here and a circular saw to make the studs. As you can see I have already added the back wall. I hope you enjoy my videos, so if you want to like and subscribe on this video, I would highly appreciate it. And don't forget the bell notification. Now that the back and the front wall are in place, I like to make the side walls. As you can see, I have added a roof, not a roof trust, a roof rafter, I guess. I make a notch in the studs and attach them to the roof rafters. 